Lego have some incredible vehicles, whether it be part of Speed Champions, the Icon series, Technic, or one of the other fantastic themes we're blessed with. But this time, the big brain Lego designers have taken over and created life-size Lego vehicles, and they are actually incredible. So let's have a look brick by brick at some of the best Lego vehicles we're likely to ever see. Make sure you stick around because at some point later, I'll be showing you some of the most idolized F1 cars in full size form. In my previous video, I asked people to comment their favorite sets for a shout out. And this time we got user Lax Rasmus 3307, whose favorite set is set 75885, the Ford Fiesta M Sport WRC edition, which is an iconic speed champion set from 20. 18. Let me know down in the comments your favourite set for a chance to be featured in the next video. Let's start off strong with a Lego favourite and that is a Ferrari introducing the Ferrari 296 GTS. This thing here in fact weighs more than the actual car itself. This was created to commemorate the opening of a new Ferrari themed attraction at Legoland Florida. But this build took a team of 10 people over 1,800 hours to build and it features working headlights, tail lights and even has a license plate illumination. The driver's doors open to unveil the two-toned beige and black interior which just blows me away. The steering wheel is genuine Ferrari though. Perhaps the wheel was just an afterthought, although the brick built bucket seats do scream extreme discomfort to me and I don't think I'd want to sit in them. Remember when I said this weighs more than the real car? Well that's right, the real deal weighs £3,400, whereas the Lego model weighs a whopping £4,000. There was no official brick count on this, but it was estimated to have used around 3,500 bricks. Now, with an average brick price of around 10 cents, this would stand you in around $35,000, which is a bargain in comparison to the real deal. Honda Australia had a challenge for the Lego geniuses, and that was to build up their new flagship Honda Civic Type R with all of the bells and whistles. So a team of nine took to the brick and created this masterpiece. Over 1,300 man hours later and 320,000 bricks more, the model Type R was born. But an amazing fact about this was it was created entirely out of standard Lego bricks you can pick up at the store. So no special bricks were needed to complete this. Now that does actually take some creative thinking. This build turned a lot of interested heads with the amount of detail involved. The model included working lighting and indicators that could all be controlled via an iPad. But the detail doesn't stop there. The build had full Brembo discs and calipers fully custom brick built wheels and tires, windscreen wipers and even a full set of Honda logos. Did I mention the wheel nuts are also created out of Lego. Everything about this hot hatch build just works. Although I can't see you driving this very fast anytime soon. Not sure how long it would last until it starts falling apart. Just a quick side note, if you are enjoying the video, please could you hit that subscribe button. It may not seem like a lot to you, but it actually helps me more than you could ever imagine. Let's head off road for this next one. The full sized Lego Chevy Silverado trial boss is here and it's ready to hit the dunes. This model has the exact size specifications as the real deal, so you can just visualize how much of a beast this thing actually is. It's that big, it took a team of 18 people over 2,000 hours to complete, placing a monstrous amount of bricks, 334,544 bricks to be exact. And the most popular brick used was a two x eight brick in a specific color. Can you guess what color? Alongside this, due to the collaboration with Warner Brothers Studios, a unique mini build of the Silverado High Country will appear in the Lego Movie 2. So if you haven't watched the movie yet, make sure when you do, you keep an eye out. Everyone loves a camper van, so this next one should be a hit. The Volkswagen T2 camper was created by master model maker Rene Hofmeister and Pascal Lenhard and had a staggering brick count of 400,000 which is actually insane and it only took six weeks. I mean, it took me longer to build the Technic Lamborghini Cyan and that only has 3,696 pieces. Now, I'm not saying this is meant to be lived in because I'm sure it'll be pretty damn uncomfortable, but this can be lived in if you tried hard enough. 
Open the sliding door. Yes, it has a working sliding door to unveil the green retro interior, which includes all of the basic amenities such as a radio, tableware, a kitchen and even plates and cups. I wasn't wrong when I said you could live in this. Although it's about time we look at one that we can actually drive. That's right, the geniuses have come together and replicated the Bugatti Chiron to a one-to-one -one scale. And yes, I wasn't lying when I said it was drivable. First things first, this thing has an unreal amount of bricks, all formulated together to create this incredible pattern throughout. The exact brick count is unknown, but it is believed to use over 1 million bricks at least. 16 brave individuals worked together over the course of 6 months, racking up a total of 13,000 working hours to complete the beast. Now listen, it doesn't produce speeds in excess of 200 mile an hour like the real deal does, but thanks to the 2,304 LEGO motors, the 4,032 LEGO Technic gear wheels and the 2,016 LEGO Technic cross axles, this thing now produces a whopping 5.3 horsepower with an ear popping 67 pound feet of torque. In simpler terms, all of that sends this rocket ship to the top speed of 12 mile an hour. Granted, any faster and I think this will start deconstructing itself because not one gram of glue was used. So now we've got a real Bugatti Chiron, a life-size Lego version and also to complete the trio we have set 42083. Well, we had it, now retired. The Technic Bugatti Chiron, not quite a million pieces on this one but still a pretty cool model with 3,599 pieces and if you've never built a big Technic set before I definitely would recommend it. They're tricky, but they're so worth it. Something else that is worth it and also a great deal is any Speed Champion set, generally featuring some of the most iconic cars in LEGO form, just like set 75892, the McLaren Senna. I covered this car in a previous video of mine, but for a bargain that will cost you less than a McDonald's, you could have your very own McLaren. Or if you have a little too much play money, perhaps you could go for the life-size Lego model instead. But at this point, I'd be surprised if there's any car that hasn't been life-sized out of Lego. This model is even more interesting than some of the others. It's not entirely made out of Lego. Well, 95% of it is. The driver's seat is still authentic McLaren as well as the steering wheel. So when you decide to hop in and take a seat, you can also find the correctly positioned starter button to wake the beast. Give the real Senna accelerator a push and you hear a sampled V8 roar. Feel free to climb all over this because all of the bricks have been glued extra extra good. Each section can withstand a 50 kilogram vertical load just enough to protect it from the adventurous child who's gone for a walk. 30 people assembled this using a mind-boggling 467,854 LEGO bricks and taking around 2,725 hours to build. Add on another 2,000-ish hours to account for design and development and fabrication of the steel reinforcement frame and you're nearly complete, with roughly 5,000 man-hours on the clock. In comparison, an actual McLaren Senna takes around 300 hours to assemble inside the factory, so I think it's safe to say the life-size model won't be mass-produced. If you're a fan of Formula 1, well this next one might be right up your street. There has been multiple full-size LEGO builds of F1 cars and they're all just as insane as the other. The first being the McLaren F1 car, taking a whole team 1900 hours and a total of 288,315 bricks. Ferrari are back again with the full-scale SF70 HP F1 car, taking 66 days to build, consisting of 844 hours to plan and 750 further hours to construct. We reached the end 350,000 bricks later. Renault hit back with their F1 car and said, nah, -uh, we can do better. Let's make one too but this time we will use 600,000 bricks. The colors and details in this one are just incredible. Mercedes hit next with a smaller version of their AMG F1 W14 E performance car. Nowhere near the brick count as the prior, this one only, and I say only, took 192,900 bricks and was unveiled at the Japanese Grand Prix Suzuka circuit. 
but some might say this is the best looking model out of the bunch. And to round off the F1 battle is the Green Machine. Built ahead of the Saudi Arabia GP, it's the world's largest F1 car. More than half a million bricks were used to complete. But now after being disassembled, each brick is supposedly being sold online with the proceeds going to Eshan, the Saudi Arabia's national platform for charitable work. And to end it off, two of my absolute favourites, the first being the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Yes, LEGO Technic has a 1 to 8 scale version of this with 2704 pieces and yes, set 42056 is an absolute work of art and in my opinion, every Porsche fan, LEGO Technic collector or car enthusiast needs this set in their collection because the detail and craftsmanship behind it is just unreal and the finished result is nothing but near perfection. But if you're actually insane, then be like the guys or girls from Sweden and create a full-size Lego replica of it. Then just shove it in the Mall of Scandinavia in Stockholm, Sweden. This model is a spitting image of the Technic set and I'm so glad it was replicated perfectly. Inside and out, this thing is all Lego, from the wheels and brakes to the seats and steering wheel but it's unknown who the actual creators were, the pieces used or the man hours behind it. But you can bet your bottom dollar they're just as genius as all of the other model creators, with just the right amount of insanity coursing through their brains. The second of the two is again another Porsche, but we are going retro old school with the classic 911 Turbo. Lego must really love this car, featuring in not one, not two, but three notable sets of the past and present. Speed Champion set 75888 was the first. The 911 featured as one of two in a twin pack in the iconic green colorway, alongside the 911 RSR. The second, also a Speed Champion set, 75895 was a single pack this time, just focusing on the main event, the 1974 911 Turbo in the crisp and clean white. The model was lowered and the wheels were spaced, stancing this car to near perfection. And to the present day, we have set 10295, the Porsche 911 Icon set, still available today but labelled as a hard to find because everyone wants this set. 1,458 pieces of pure enjoyment and extreme vintage. The full size brick build of this is just as incredible as all of the models associated with it, combined in the vibrant green from the first set and the lowered and spaced out stance from the second we are now left with the absolute beautiful work of art. There's not much more to say about this car other than just wow. So there we have it, some of the best full size replicas I've come across. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on these and let me know which one is your favourite. If I didn't mention your favourite, feel free to let me know. And also don't forget to comment your favourite overall set for a chance to be featured in the next video. I'll try my very best to get back to each and every one of you in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching, it's really appreciated. Please like and subscribe and I will definitely be seeing you in the next one.